Why is my video not visible? Yeah, Was my video visible? No, it's black. No. no. Okay, yeah. Uh, now it's visible. Yeah. So with your audible to everyone, I yes. think you have started the yes. broadcast. Yes, I started it by mistake. Okay, we'll wait for uh, okay. some more time. Yep. Meanwhile, you just flash the camera if you want. Okay, the people they might want to see the camera. Okay. Okay, so guys, this is just a skin. This is not. Uh, any special type of cat this is just a skin i like camouflage color so yeah uh, we can put a message on the whatsapp group that it has started please join fast mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, is 18 to 55 mm, 55 to 250 mm, and a portrait lens 50 mm.
Shobhit, sir. Shobhit, there, there is one hand raised from one of the participants. Can you just show the camera? Uh, Shobhit, you put your webcam on full screen mode. And... Hey. I don't think Put it on you can see. It. Okay, I think. Hmm. I have uh, turned off my present, uh, screen, so I think it it is visible. Yes, it, it's uh, full screen now. Uh, show it. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so when you when you uh, take it on the full screen mode for uh, mobile users, it is still a small uh, square in the main screen. We can see it is not full screen on the mobile phones. Okay, uh, mobile users can tap on the video to see it on the full screen. Just do it again. Okay. So, one users uh, try tapping on the video. Okay, it's not yet visible, I think. Yes. It's a bit shaky, right? It's a game. Make it a full screen. Okay. M make it a full screen. Your webcam. Yes, sir. There's a lag actually. Lag. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it visible on full screen? Uh, no. For that, you need to switch off on all this. I switched off my presentation. Uh, still, it is visible your presentation and then. Your webcam. Okay. Uh, that uh, is one yeah, I can only shows. see welcome screen. Can't see webcam. Ankit Sharma and Ani Sarora. I think uh, because uh, of the uh, network issues. Because of the webcam, there is some lag. Okay, fine. Fine, uh, we can start, I think. Okay. Shobit? Yeah. We should start now. Yes, sir. Okay. So, hello and welcome, everyone. This is Shobit Goel, uh, and I am one of the founding members of uh, the Shutterbugs Photography Club. So, I'm working as a software engineer in Real Technologies based out of Bangalore. So, Today, I'll be taking your uh, long exposure photography session. Is my screen visible? Uh, yeah. No, no, not yet. Turn on your screen. I think it is visible now, sir, because I have a attendee view right next to me. To me, I not, think it is visible. It is not yet visible for laptop users, I think so. Because mobile user, they can see the screen, but uh, I'm using laptop, so I'm not able to see your screen. Yeah, I was not able to see your screen. So... Okay, because I have a... Ah, now own, now it's, uh... it's visible. So with now it's visible. Okay. Raghavendra, is it visible to you? Uh, no, sir. Actually, no. Sir, I can see the screen now. Uh, okay, even, people... even I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's visible now. Hmm. Yes, Shobit, go ahead. Okay. So till now, you all must have uh, learned about shutter, uh, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. 
so uh, and a different uh, you must have known about different uh, cameras as well you have uh, learned editing as well but uh, shutter speed aperture ye sab kahan use kare so today uh, this session is about long exposure photography in which this is a special type of photography uh, in which aap uh, apna स्किल एक इम्प्रूव कर सकते हो जैसे एक क्वेश्चन फीडबैक में मैंने पढ़ा था कि किसी ने लिखा था हाउ टू टेक माइंड ब्लोइंग फोटोज यूजिंग कैमरा सो दिस इज योर चांस इफ यू लर्न दिस कंसेप्ट यू कैन टेक माइंड ब्लोइंग फोटोज सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद अ क्वेश्चन आप सबने एल ई पी के बारे में सुना होगा सो आई एम पब्लिशिंग पोल प्लीज आंसर टू दिस पोल What is LEP? Is my poll visible? Yes. So I'll wait for a minute for you to answer this question. Guys, please answer this poll. Uh, only fifty percent have voted yet. Another twenty percent remaining. Remaining attendees do answer the poll. It will make this session more interactive. Yes, sir. Okay, so I think I'll close the poll. Poll now. Close the poll, and then uh, you can share the results. Yes. Okay, so as you can see, fifty uh, percent of you have voted for low shutter speed, which is the correct answer, and twenty-eight percent of you have voted for high shutter speed. it's okay if you don't know about the concept of long exposure photography it's absolutely fine so actually uh, long exposure photography so is long kya ho raha hai long time hum de rahe hain exposure ko correct so long time dene ka matlab kya hua hum shutter speed apni kam kar rahe hain aur shutter speed kam kar rahe hain so around kit, uh, hum kitne shutter speed ke baat karne wale hain aaj आपको किस कुछ लोगों को पता होगा कुछ को नहीं पता होगा कैमरा का शटर एक सेकंड भी खुला रह सकता है एंड थर्टी सेकेंड भी खुला रह सकता है कुछ प्रोफेशनल कैमराज इवन थर्टी मिनट्स तक का शटर खुला रह सकता है तो ऑल दिस फॉल्स अंडर द कैटेगरी ऑफ लॉन्ग एक्सपोजर ओके सो सो लेट्स अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ लॉन्ग एक्सपोजर वेट आई हैव टू क्लोज द पोल राइट I will. I will hide it. I have done that. Ah, uh, your voice is breaking a bit. So I guess. Is it uh, fine now? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. Fine. Um, I don't think my screen is visible for types of long exposure photography. Okay, please. I'll just start with it. So uh, I have categorized. Uh, long exposure photography into eight different types although there can be many more so the first one is text or flashlight photography which is the most common type of uh, long exposure photography to do this is light trails i heard i got some questions how to take light trails if you have some experience about this you might have uh, heard this word light trails then comes stable photography I'm pretty sure if you are related to photography world, you must have heard this word steel wool. Uh, if and if you have it, don't worry, it will be all covered in today's session. Then I got a number of questions on lightning, how to take lightning photo. So that also falls under under long exposure photography. Then comes astro. Astro photography is also LEP. BFL LEP. I'm pretty sure most of you might not have heard. About this concept, because I have named this concept, so we'll see. 
then waterfall and panning these also i have included in long exposure photography so these are the topics uh, that i will be covering in ap so next uh, now i have talked about that the shutter speed is quite low that means your photo is getting much more time to capture the light sanket had taught you that agar shutter zyada der khola hai so zyada light aayegi now is isi aperture aur iso kya hona chahiye so i have uh, the next poll question for you what is the required aperture so i have published uh, the poll it might take a while to get into your screen okay it's show the distributing poll i think some lag mm -hmm. is it uh, visible lag. not yet what uh, on phone screen sir it is visible so uh, for phone screen according visible, to your knowledge according to your knowledge whatever you have been taught relate to uh, exposure triangle so now you have a large amount of time for exposure to come in so what must be what is the more appropriate aperture in this i'll wait for a minute <clears throat> it seems like a running race between option a and b it's a pretty equal right now 50 50% -50%. yeah so probably probably most of you have not understood the concept of exposure triangle Aperture. it's fine Aperture. completely fine yeah only 21% about it come on guys please vote fast almost 70% have done wait for another 20 minutes and then, okay. then we can continue 20 seconds not 20 minutes yes uh, it's al almost more than 2 minute Yes. Share the result. So should I share it? Yeah. I have yeah. shared it. Yeah. So for eight percent of you, which is the major uh, on phone, it is visible. Sir, forty-eight uh, percent of you have answered F upon one point eight, which is actually the wrong answer. <laughs> yeah. So the correct answer should be F by twenty-two. So I'll clear this concept out. So I just. okay so what happens is you are getting more light right so for uh, in uh, high in low shutter speed you are getting more light so to uh, to equalize to make an equivalent to, in the aperture settings you need to uh, you need to get less amount of light through aperture so uh, f 1.8 means you are your shutter your uh, uh, whatever like lens is completely open while in uh, f11 to f29 your uh, frame is less open so that allows less amount of light so to th this is just to make equivalent it has nothing to do with the concept of uh, long exposure photography long exposure photography has only to do with shutter speed okay so so one last question uh, should i share that what is iso uh, i have launched it i have launched okay. it sir yeah. so let's quickly answer this and uh, get going 
Uh, meanwhile, uh, the attendees, when they are busy in answering this question, we should again in one sentence, we should clear them about this concept about ISO, aperture and uh, shutter speed within one yes, sentence so. is number and the effect. Correct. Like ISO, so. less the ISO, dark will be the picture more the ISO, more bright will, the, will be the picture in that sense. So, yeah, so I'll give an example. So starting with the ISO, um, if you have less ISO, that, then your sensitivity of the camera gets low. The uh, amount of light in the camera will be low. Uh, less ISO means around ISO 100. And more ISO means around more than 1600 ISO or 3200 ISO. So with that will take more amount of light coming to shut, uh, aperture. So f upon 1.8 means the lens is completely open and it will take more amount of light. And f by 22 means it is around least open and uh, it will take less amount of light. Finally, shutter speed. If it is around one by 1000, which means in one second, one thousandth of a second will take your photo. So that means less time for the light to come in, which means high shutter speed. And uh, uh, vice versa, uh, the, for one by 10, if you go one by 10 or more than one second, so then your shutter is allowing more light to come in because it has more time, which means low shutter speed. Okay, so this time most of you were correct. 66% of you were correct. As uh, and uh, for long exposure photography, to balance the uh, amount of time which we are giving for shutter speed, we are we uh, want less ISO. So yeah, let's move on. So basically, around uh, ISO 50 to 400 what uh, is used in long exposure photography. Okay. The pole has been hidden, right? And uh, which screen is it? Uh, ISO 5400. Okay. Now is it a text LEP or light painting? Yes. Okay, I think uh, most of you can see this picture. So yeah, so the first topic of a LEP we are going to cover is text LEP and home painting. Those who don't know, those who have seen this kind of picture must have imagined how to take this. So this is basically the first concept of uh, LEP and which is, I call it light painting as well because instead of characters, you can uh, use different objects for illumination and Try different things. Okay. So, yeah. This picture was taken at ISO 100, F by 22, at five, uh, keeping the shutter speed at five seconds. And uh, the angle at which the lens was open was at 18 mm. So, you can see that original picture is actually inverted, right? So, the original pictures, there are four people standing right here. Okay. I'll mark it. So imagine this. This is actually a dark room where four people are standing and they are trying to make it make the shape. How? They are using flashlight, your phone flashlight. And the camera setup which is there, it is kept on a table in which the camera doesn't move at all for five seconds. You can see the shutter speed I have written here is five seconds. So the camera doesn't move at all and they type letters H O M E in which we get this particular photograph. So as you can see, as I explained, I 100 F 22 is the aperture. Why, why am I doing this? Because I have to compensate the amount of light, which I am getting in five seconds. 
so i think this concept would be clear now this is one more image uh, taken by kapsa sir at on the occasion of diwali of course and he has used a full jodi so you can see this uh, exif okay i don't think everyone knows this this particular thing is called exif photography your voice is breaking your voice is breaking repeat that again okay so this photograph was taken no, not, sir, not, on not the this exit exit okay. just move it okay. exit yeah some lag was i've drawn it uh my audio is not okay uh, it is breaking yeah i think while share the presentation this it uses a lot of internet it's okay so this this part this particular things i saw uh, shoot the aperture and angular shooting this we called it as a so yeah i think people must have got this this is okay let is it stuck uh your voice gone completely is uh, is it uh, will now now yes yes is the screen stuck at e yes now i think you are writing exif right okay that i put around 30 seconds ago so there is a lot okay. i am really sorry attendees for the inconvenience okay, i'll stop sharing my screen by Uh, as is what screen is, is available is visible are ye screen sir ki photo dikh rahi hai i think pic from half sir signature wali photo dikh rahi hai signature wali yes. so yes, yes, yes. yes you can you can uh, do your signatures so basically in first picture what you saw in home picture this picture you might have seen there is a difference of light in this picture capsule is visible the walls are visible so why did this happen you can notice that in the first picture the iso was 100 but we kept it at 200 then the uh, aperture was f by 22 but in this picture he kept it at f by 9 so these things made a difference also that was a dark room and this was uh, a lighty light lit room so all these made a difference and we got this picture as a result okay let's move on there is a lot of lag because i have already moved to the next slide but mm, yes uh, yeah. now it's visible so you saw this uh, picture in the introductory photograph so this picture is also an example of lep as it says so in this picture i have kept the shutter open for 13 seconds as you can see so ac actually this lep and the heart was not made by two different persons it was made by one person 
while he finished the p at p he hit the flashlight and then he started to make the heart which resulted in this kind of pictures so are there any doubts till now let's uh, take uh, any doubts if if you, because if you have understood this concept the rest of the concepts are quite similar uh shobhi there's one question you okay. can go through that asked by nupur can we take the pic in our normal phones oh yes i forgot to mention this point if you have a pro mode or a manual mode and your then your shutter speed can go up to 30 seconds then you can take this picture in phone it is possible very possible but if you don't have a pro mode uh, there can still be a fluke which you can do fluke which you can do that is use a night mode and as you have used uh, as you must have used the night mode it clicks the photograph for around 1 seconds and tells you to be stable but don't be mm -hmm. stable move the flashlight in front of it so then you can get the long exposure photograph at least for 1 second you can try this fluke i have never tried it what uh, else can you uh, uh, flag mark the questions yes uh, there's one question uh, for a canon 700d can we do it with the kit lens if so then which lens is better yes yes it can be done yes of and yes of course so it it will be done through kit lens only this is yes. the advanced level of the most basic photography just the advanced you have just touched the advanced level you are not going that advanced so you have to use your basic accessories a basic dslr and a basic kit lens so uh, i would like um, to uh, you just finish your point so bit yes sorry to disturb so yeah, you as yeah. as you can you would have seen in the previous pictures that i had mentioned the uh, this as well the amount the exif you can see that 18 mm is there so your kit lens is will probably be around 18 mm yes sir you had some point uh -huh. so i would like to mention that these pics both the pics they are not clicked by dslr they are clicked uh, with the help of uh, nikon cool pics p510 super zoom camera Uh, super zoom it is not slr as fast as slr so these are the pics which are clicked i uh, this particular camera has manual mode but we cannot change lens for this particular camera so that's all i so wanted to mention over here yeah so basically if you have a point and shoot cameras as well so you can try this out on that okay Uh, any more questions uh, some cameras lens uh, don't have an option of infinity focus then how to make start also, also use of invert invertometer and basics if uh, okay i'll tell you about uh, star trail but i don't know what thing about invertometer Uh, star will definitely be covered in the coming topics it will all batao kya mai how enter uh, how i think you can uh, write down it how yes, these yes, picks yes. are taken I'm not understood uh how these picks are taken not understood so i think uh, you didn't get the setup or what so the setup i'll just repeat it it was a dark room and you have placed your camera on a stable uh, point such as table or a tripod if you have and then you you are uh, you are flashing the your phone flashlight in the front of the camera for 5 seconds 13 seconds whatever type of photos you want to make okay any more uh, cover organizers Mm, I don't think so. I can't understand. Voice is laggy. Is it? Uh, no. Now it's uh, pretty good. There's no any lag. If we keep shutter speed at thirty seconds and ISO hundred, so will the image be clear? By clear, uh, it doesn't mean that. Uh, 
yes ob obviously you will get a photo but if you go for the i'll just repeat the exif uh, aditya khote is talking about 30 seconds and iso 100 so if you try these settings in a well lit room your photo will definitely get over exposed it is a possibility that it will be completely white but if you are trying this in a dark room then uh, you will get something what is used in lep okay so uh, i'll take the next questions later yeah yeah so coming to the topic of light trails you must have uh, seen these pictures again uh, you must have imagined how these photographs are taken so these are called light trails okay so i'll show you the first picture so this picture was taken by varun dev which is one of the attendees and my good friend so these are actually uh, the traffic okay which is taken at night time at uh, keeping the shutter speed at 30 seconds so you can see that a camera can go up to 30 seconds as well and he had kept the exif at f by 11 and iso at 100 same concept but at a different location at a different scene is present so i hope these if you try to make these pictures now it will blow other people's mind now okay so yeah this was my picture and as you can see th in this picture uh, you might have a question that what happens to the cars and the actual body of of the vehicles so if you can see this there is a bus right here if if you see it carefully this is a bus which was captured at 4 seconds so the uh, light which uh, which is which we are getting from the uh, headlights and the tail lamps are not uh, sufficient to cope up with the light which they have on the body so that gets disappeared and you get to something like this this is another uh, okay this i'll wait for the is is the bus okay it changed right organizers yes it changed organizers yes sir aditya chavan's yes, photo sir. yes aditya chavan's photo so i would like to tell you that this picture was taken on a phone this the phone was on a nine light and aditya chavan was one of my students as well so and you can see that in her aperture here is f2.2 which is mm. contradicting the fact that i told is that which uh, the aperture should be quite less but mm. you have a limitation in phone let's face it you have a limitation in phone your aperture cannot change and yesterday or day before yesterday someone asked why do we have different uh, lenses different many lenses in phone so this is the purpose one one of the lens will have f2.2 one of the lens will have f11 and there might be a possibility that uh, some advanced cameras like iphone can change the aperture in the phone itself and i guess he had kept the photograph at auto iso so it shot it at 64.5 and the exposure time he gave it a lot of time 38.5 seconds so that's fine uh, after some post processing he might have reduced the over exposure of it and you can see there are some vertical lines in that as well so i am guessing that he had lifted his phone camera while the shutter was on so these might be the street lights this i think uh, you must have got the concept of uh, light trails by now this is one more picture i took it from the internet you must have seen a similar picture of the highways which such long uh, this uh, light trails so they simply kept it at 30 seconds or more if they had uh, a pr more professional camera the basic concept is same for all lep okay so two concepts are 
let's uh, move on to steel wool mm, okay lag 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 we'll have to wait for a bit Uh, okay, I'll answer the question till then. What will happen if we move camera like when we do during a video during clicking her photos and during the shutter speed of 30 seconds? Yes, you use uh, you can move the camera as well, and uh, that would give a different type of picture. But uh, for th the concepts, the current two concepts that I had explained, you have to keep your camera stable as stable as possible. What maximum number of exposure time? Uh, exposure time varies for what picture you want to take. Like uh, it may vary from one to thirty seconds. But for there's an exception for astrophotography. Um, you for star trails that I'll be explaining later. There will be around fifteen minutes of exposure time. So I think my screen for still wool is visible now. Yes. 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 So all this picture as well. You must have seen this picture and imagine it. So steel wool. Uh, steel wool is basically a material which is available in the market and will cost you around 200 to 2000. But I would say there is no need to buy it. You can make it yourself. I'm waiting for the screen to load. I have put an image of the steel wool as well. I think the lag increases as the number of participants are more. Okay, question till then. Meanwhile, take the questions, Ruby. Yes, yes, I'm just taking the questions. I think this is steel wool picture is available now. Yes, yes. So yes, yes. people just you just have to light it up and uh, revolve around it. So this picture again was uh, taken by Aditya Chavan, and I think it is our college field only. So uh, I am not sure what device he took it on. It uh, is probably a DSLR. But you can see that the concept he has used is the same ISO 400 F by 13 for 20 seconds and at 18 mm. So the, the only one concept which you have to understand and which will be applied for all the rest of the LEP. This is a similar picture. He decided to go off track and move the uh, this uh, steel wool in horizontal motion. So you can be creative. You can make this at home, or you can buy it as as well. Next, uh, let's come to lightning on thunder photography. And uh, I remember this question coming up: that uh, how do you take photographs of lightning and thunder? So people have a question that lightning and thunder takes place so fast that they are unable to get uh, like. How is it possible that, that you can time your photos so well to capture a perfect lightning photos? It, I'm telling you, this is a deception. You must have uh, got it after seeing this picture. The photographer has actually kept the photograph shutter open for 30 seconds. And all the lightning which takes place within that 30 seconds has been captured. Don't think that these two lightnings were struck at the same time. These are completely different uh, lightnings at two different times, but it occurred in a period of 30 seconds. Within a period of 30 seconds, I actually had some photographs, but I couldn't uh, extract it out. So I have used some images from the internet. Uh, again, I'll explain the same concept. Uh, I saw 9 
fy9 okay uh, it, this is a pretty average aperture which we have used but uh, it is fine like the lightning occurs for such a short while that fy9 will compensate your lighting so yes uh, those uh, whoever had this question for lightning or thunder photography i think you can try it now next uh, we will move on to astrophotography so again this cons uh, this picture you must have seen but you must have imagined that uh, it is never visible to the naked eye so how, how do photographers take these kind of photos so these this is actually milky way galaxy as you might have read if you have tried to explore how they took this photograph and it's not easy to get this picture in a, a polluted city you have to go to a very very remote place to get this these kind of pictures and also you there's some app which it tells you which direct which uh, where is actually the milky way so i am not sure about that app but i'll let you know about that app you can search yourself on the google play store or uh, app store about the app of the location of the milky way so and now this uh, as i said earlier uh, there is some change here in astrophotography iso 6400 till now we were taking these photographs at iso 100 iso 200 maximum iso 400 but why do we need to go at 6400 so the answer is pretty simple uh, as you can see the star stars are hardly visible to the naked eye it is very it requires a lot of uh, light like your eyes can see the stars but your cameras can't so for that you have to increase your iso so that it can sense that little amount of light which is available in the sky in the form of stars and uh, these photographs were taken at 15 second or 25 seconds aperture there is no change in aperture so this was the first type of astrophotography then comes star trails I'll, yeah i think it is visible so star trails these are stars as well but now notice the sh shutter time this is getting 15 minutes i understand that basics and some semi professional uh, cameras as well don't shoot it at 15 minutes don't shoot as long as 15 minutes but there was one concept called bulb mode someone asked this question bulb mode after 30 seconds in every camera you have a bulb mode so for bulb mode what happens is when you start when you press the shutter for the first time and when you press the uh, release the shutter for that duration of time you, your shutter will be open that can be around 15 minutes now you will say that when we press the shutter the camera can be shaky due to hands it is obviously shaky so for that thing professional photographers use a remote so uh, you can use a infrared remote to tell your camera to start uh, shooting the uh, to open the shutter and when to close the shutter and you will get a picture like this this again a picture which was taken at 30 minutes but uh, the rest of the concept re remains same f by 2.8 iso 100 but in this picture we are not using iso 6400 so because 15 minutes 30 minutes is a lot of time you don't need your iso to be that high so okay quick doubt session of 2 minutes this if you are understanding the concept i think it is pretty clear till now organizers how does light trail form concentric circles 
uh, good question so what happens is if you observe if you are an astrophile you must have observed that the stars actually move in that way only they don't mm. uh, uh, come from one place and sets from other place like sun and moon it uh, keeps revolving in that motion only so a, a photographer photographer is not doing anything Th- these are the motion of the stars itself okay kindly show some tutorial that how to use bulb and time mode in shutter speed okay if you want an audio uh, video sorry i can show you that i'm not sure if you'll be able to see this uh, it is currently 30 seconds now in phone which i'm viewing it it is visible <clears throat> okay uh, so currently i have placed it at 10 seconds so maybe you can hear and understand how the shutter works the shutter is started it will the shutter will be on for 10 seconds and the shutter closed i don't know if you got that audio or not about star trails shobhi yes sir uh, about uh, star trails uh, as per my knowledge it is uh, putting the time on let's say 15 minutes but for every 15 second or 20 second or 30 second the photos will be clicked and then with the help of a software all these photographs right. are stacked together so just uh, right i actually elaborate actually, this point i uh, forgot to mention that i actually forgot to mention this point uh, if your uh, dslr doesn't have a capacity of 30 minutes still you can shoot this for every uh, 10 seconds you click a picture take a break for 10 seconds and then play a picture again you have to continue this process for around 15 to 20 minutes if you want to get the same result then using a software you can compile all these photographs into one so some devices have a capacity of 15 to 30 minutes of exposure time and some don't so they use this uh, trick to compile the uh, photographs of tra- star trails i think uh, uh, okay. in my camera uh, yes i uh, showed yes, it sir. i just i would like to add one point yes. in my uh, nikon coolpix p510 camera there is a provision where yes. you can set the time let's say 10 minutes and uh, for a particular uh, time let's say 10 or 15 seconds the image will go the camera will go on taking the clicks after every 10 seconds 15 seconds that you are going to set and it will continue for next 5 exactly. minutes 10 minutes this is exactly the concept uh, of uh, 15 to 30 of exposure your uh, shutter will not actually be open for that amount of time it will it will be done as per your settings yes yes so i think uh, actually, we are uh, good to move okay yeah uh, actually it's a concept of yes. interferometer it is a okay. inbuilt uh, yeah Uh, with the help of intervalometer it it is possible to take a picture in every 15 or 30 seconds like which you have shown in uh, astrophotography okay so, so the concept the i didn't know that it is it was called intervalometer yeah. but uh, yeah. yes so i think that concept is answer inter intervalometer okay so i learned something as well today yeah. thanks palash thanks okay so yes uh, we are i think uh, we should move to the next concept okay, so fine. i posted this picture on on whatsapp group and uh, 
ask your people to join the session if you wanted to know how I made this picture. So I call this concept a VFL LEP and I have explored the internet. I haven't seen any concept related to this. I was uh, at a uh, event at Pataleshwar Caves, if you might know that is in Pune. So they have a festival of lights, uh, which is uh, they place diyas all around their temple. I'll show a picture of it, a normal picture. Mm, waiting for it. Is it a visible, right? Yes, it's visible. visible. It's visible. Okay. So this was the actual picture. You can see that these are light lamps, dias, what we call. So how did I take that picture? First of all, I would like to tell VFL LEP why I call that variable focal length long exposure photography. I'd uh, switch on my video for this. And as you can read it, rotate the lens while the shutter is open. My video is visible, right? Yes, yes. So yeah. now uh, I'm using the same concept that uh, we are clicking at 10 seconds at ISO 100 at F by 22. But what we are doing is like I've placed the camera like this, but we are moving while it is clicking for 10 seconds or whatever time I'm moving this lens as well. So what does it do? It takes the photo from 18 to 55 mm. I think the video was clear. I'll just repeat it once again. So this is my stable platform where I've kept my camera. I've uh, entered the shutter speed as let's say one second, one second and uh, aperture at F by 22, ISO at 100. In that one second, what I did is I rotated it from 18 to 55. This mm -hmm. lens, kit lens, 18 to 55 lens. So I'll show you that picture. So this was the original scene which was there. Okay, let's wait for it to load. And let me tell you, uh, this script, I have never read it on the internet or something, but now you have this tool, you can use this for your own photography. This is another picture which was shot at still So VFL LEP, variable focal length, long exposure photography. Because why am I calling it variable focal length? Because why I'm, uh, while I have, uh, and the, while the shutter is on, I have moved the lens. I have rotated the lens. This picture on your screen uh, is at another a different exposure, but I have not uh, rotated the lens. Waiting for the LEP pick. Yes, this this was the final result of that. As you can see, I saw 100 F by 22 at 0 0.8 seconds. I gave it a time of only 8 seconds while I'm. Yes, it was tough. I had to try many times to take this picture. It obviously didn't give um, the result, the best result at the first time itself. So this was another picture which I took the photograph at 0 0.8 seconds, but I didn't move the lens. I kept it at 18. So you can see that the lamps have a shine, a different shine in this. But it is still less than uh, one by 10 of a second, so I'll still call it 
a long exposure shot. Next, uh, we have a picture shot by Ruthwick. Next year, uh, we uh, went in a group to, and I taught Ruthwick the same thing and he tried it at a different angle and it gave a fabulous result. Now in this picture, you can see that he had, okay, he had used it uh, for uh, 24 to 135 mm. He went a step further. He moved the lens from 24 mm to 135 mm at one second of shutter. So yeah, the next photo which will picture is one of the results which you might face. You will not get it in the first attempt. You will have to try it a lot. But I am pretty sure if you get it, you will be more than happy. So yeah, poll time. I'll publish this question. Can we take LEP during daylight? Why am I asking this question? Because in LEP, we are getting a lot of exposure time for the light to come in. So is it possible that we can take it in broad daylight? Okay, it's going 50-50 for now. Uh, show me. Yes, sir. Uh, meanwhile, uh, you can take some hand raise. Sanjay Kadmude. There's a hand raise from Mr. Sanjay. Uh, okay, what is... Uh, okay. He, Let's mute, unmute him. Uh, just to unmute himself. Uh, Mr. Sanjay Kadmude, you can unmute yourself if you have any doubt. See, anyways, he is not responding. Yeah, Question? Continue. So I'll close this till now. And uh, yeah, okay, just a minute. The poll results are not visible, right? Yeah, so 56% of you voted no, which conceptually should be the right answer, but it isn't. The, those who, those 44% who voted for yes, give the right answer. We can take it. I'll tell you how. Right. still on the poll question slide this video. meanwhile i'll show you the video is no video visible yet co organizers it's visible now yeah, so these, see these, these are called ND filters. I think it came in the presentation as well. So these are called ND filters. What does it, first of all, it is called neural density filters. And what does it do if it, uh, if we mount it on, on a camera, you can see that it is pretty black. It is uh, called translucent. So, I can mount it on my lens like this. And now the light, whatever will come into this will be a little dark. So we have manually made uh, the light to come in, less light to in. Using this concept, we can take uh, long exposure shots in broad daylight as well. So now how will we use it? 
how what what do you want to take uh, in broad daylight which should be long exposure so the concept is of waterfall i'm just waiting for the slide to appear and uh, i forgot to mention that these uh, neural density filters are uh, available in different densities like the one which uh, was the highest density which was the most black was at uh, neural density 16 and it is available from nd2 nd4 nd8 you can check uh, online for that now as you can see this picture waterfall now you can see that uh, these pictures uh, the water in this is a bit uh, what we call smooth right so how did we take this picture this with the same concept long exposure photography we have to use uh, we have to open the shutter for around uh, 2.5 to 5 seconds to get this shot but what will that do there's so much light in your environment which will uh, not allow it to be at the right exposure your photos will be overexposed but to compensate that thing we will use nd filters i'll just show the two pictures yeah i think you can see so the first picture was shot at iso 100 f by 9 1 by 100 so this is a pretty normal picture what you can get in a waterfall environment and the next shot was taken at iso 100 f by 16 at 2.5 seconds but using a nd filter so i'm sure uh, you must have got this concept so coming to the, the last concept of this session which is called panning and there yesterday there was a question uh, how did you take the how did Ruthwick take that photo of a man on the bike with all the background blur so as you can see i have used a similar picture for an auto rickshaw and this concept is called panning so in what we are doing in this picture it is i'll uh, most, some people don't call it as a, at a as a concept of long exposure photography uh, but we are using a shutter of around 1 by 15 seconds or 1 by 10 seconds which means in one sec one tenth part of a second we are taking the picture and what we are doing here is we are focusing on the vehicle and with uh, we are moving the camera and matching the speed of the vehicle with the uh, camera the moment of your camera should match the speed of the vehicle so what that will do is it will uh, capture your vehicle in the incomplete focus but the other parts of it will be kind of blur so okay uh, this picture you can see is of a triple seat so if there is someone in purpose in this session you can note on the number i'll tell jokes apart uh, i'll uh, so the next picture is of uh, another man at um, one by ten seconds but here we have moved the aperture to around 7.1 seconds uh, sorry 7.1 why we are doing that because the shutter speed is not that slow we don't need the aperture to uh, high aperture to compensate that so it is f by 1 1.7 and according to me panning is one of the toughest uh things in photography but if you want to learn if you really want to click mind-blowing pictures you should go for this concept as well i'll g just give some notes and tips so lap basically requires stability and patience you won't get uh, good pictures in your first attempts you will have to be very patient use tripod stable chairs ground whatever makes your camera stable use it don't use it don't try it on hand because your hands will shake it will be definitely a shaky photo and the tip would be to use a timer so what happens if uh, is that while you are clicking the picture uh, when you press the shutter button it uh, starts click uh, the shutter gets open as soon as you click the shutter button but uh, 
what what will that do is it might shake your camera so always use a timer to be uh, to get better results you can use a timer of 2 seconds which which will your sh uh, start your shutter 2 seconds after you click the shutter and finally we come to editing so no matter how dark your environment is no matter how good settings you take you will see some uh, shadows of people if you are trying uh, this uh, concept lep concept you might not uh, see on your screen for now but in this picture people are there in which uh, they have come and if you don't want them to be in your picture you ha will have to edit like the uh, what tool was it sanket which you told for this absolutely yeah uh, snapseed but uh, healing tool right? healing tool uh, healing. Brush, brush. It brush. Yes, healing and brush tool both okay yeah to reduce so, the exposure i told uh, brush tool yeah so on that particular parts you can re reduce the exposure and uh, tune in some images as well so this is the final result so yeah that's it for this session i think it, it's exactly 6:15 yes Let the questions come in. Question. Someone had has asked one question that they yes, want to take stars, moon, and the sun together. Okay, so uh, he might have uh, seen that. Uh, picture a particular picture uh, which was shot up by a famous photographer after many attempts so that for that you will have to go to that location that doesn't uh, fall under the concept of lep so this is another picture uh, i'll just show my video in this the globe was kept at a point and these are called fairy lights so this is a portable fairy light so it it uses dc so what i did is i wrapped these fairy lights around my cricket bat and i uh, moved in this motion behind the globe while my camera was clicking at it at uh, around 4 seconds of shutter So my video is visible right Okay so imagine that my hand is the bike in this photograph and this is my camera correct so now this bike is moving at certain speed now by clicking this picture at 1 by 10 seconds you have to match the speed of the bike with the camera look is my uh, video not clear or what uh, no, no. so uh, people on phone can enter into full screen so my hand is my hand is the bike in this picture and the camera is moving at the same speed as, as the bike so at this particular point i made the focus i pressed the shutter button half i made the focus when it came here i clicked the shutter and followed the bike so that uh, what happened was that it gave a per perfectly clear picture of the bike while the other since the other uh, background is stationary 
so it came blur just a minute uh, yeah you might not get this concept uh, still not uh, get this concept but uh, it is a interesting concept of lep and you can see how clear this photograph is i can read the number plate of this bike as well so it is all about practice uh, i think sanket and i went for this photo walk and we took around 200 clicks after we got a few good uh, sharp pictures that will do this is another picture i made it through fairy lights so the person is rotating the fairy lights in his hand and he is completely stable so stable only his hands are moving co organizers we have some questions yes uh, there are few questions how to take pictures of super moon or planet alignment from pro mode and phone so super moon um, for that your phone must have a very good optical zoom first i would like to say that because uh, it's not easy to capture a moon in a phone and if you have that i think uh, it will be pretty easy to because exposure the normal exposure set for a moon doesn't fall under the concept of lep can click panning photos on mobile phone definitely if you have a pro mode or a manual mode you can definitely click panning photos you you have to go as i uh, said that the exif should be 1 by 10 seconds or 1 by 15 seconds like it's not hard and fast rule you can make it 1 by 5 seconds you can make it 1 by 20 seconds you just have to catch up with the speed of the vehicle Okay. What else? Could you please repeat the procedure to make steel wool? Okay. So yes, so the steel wool which I show you. So we what is done is it is lit on fire, and uh, it is pretty safe. Don't be worried. And just like firecrackers, it uh, it uh, uh, burns out of, uh, like it gives out of flames in all directions. So you just have to rotate it. For in this picture, this person had rotated it for thirty seconds. So what it will do it is uh, it will uh, spray the flames in all directions and within 30 seconds you will get a picture like this uh sanket sanket are you there What is steel wool? Steel wool, steel wool is just a, a, a material of, made of steel which can be ignited. You will get it on the internet. You can try to search. What is a good camera to click all types of LEP photos, light, panning, waterfall? So a basic DSLR. You don't need a very advanced cameras. A basic DSLR or even as Sir has a point and shoot camera, a Nikon Coolpix or a basic point and shoot camera will also do you a phone will also do you just have to have a pro mode or a manual mode sanket are you there sanket sanket vedant uh, yes sir 
I just uh, would like to tell that uh, we had conducted a steel wood photography, steel wood photography session in our college. So I guess uh, someone is having video of that. So that can be then uploaded on the YouTube so that the people will understand how the steel wood is done, steel wood photography is done. So that will help. Mm. Because the Do video was shot any more questions? during that session. Yes, we had done that session. Two or three sessions were done in the college. How to and make background? Video was... yes. So yes, this okay. is a there's a question how to make background blur in the photo. And most beginners who want to learn photography want to learn as this as the first concept, how to make background blur. So the concept is simple. Use a aperture wide open aperture which is up around f by 1.8 f by 2 f by 2.2 uh, see the concept is smaller the number wider will be the opening if it is 1.8 means maximum opening if it is uh, f by 22 means very small opening okay so yeah, because, lesser the number wider the opening yes because it is f by 1.8 you can do the math the if the denominator is less, the opening will be greater. I think so, Bandish also joined as a uh, Shobit. Uh, sorry yes, to sir. interrupt you. Bandish also has joined as an organizer. Uh, would like to have some inputs from Bandish, if any. Bandish, please unmute yourself. So, Bandish, guys, I would like there? to tell Bandish. Oh. Bandesh is one of the founding members of the Shutterbugs Photography Club as well. And he specializes in uh, videography and photo editing and video editing. So yes, Bandesh, what inputs do you have? Bandesh? Uh, hello? Uh, yes, yes, go ahead, Bandesh. Hello. If, is there any specific questions you need to answer me or? Uh, not any specific question, but most of them, they are uh, confused. Bandesh, you can answer that language. question. Uh, take that question on uh, frames per second. Why does it uh, get dark when you increase the frames per second? Uh, I couldn't. Where is it? Uh, no, it is not in the question pane. It was asked in one of the earlier sessions because it is related to videography, right? So when we go on slow mode, slow, slow mode. So why does it get dark? Uh, actually, if you see the, uh, if you apply the normal principles of the uh, photo taking, uh, you see when you increase the shutter speed, uh, let's say you jump from uh, 1 by 50 to 1 by 300. So the sensor, sensor, uh, what do you say, jumps fast, right? So in uh, videography, there is a similar concept called uh, rolling shutter. Now, uh, when you take video, your shutter does not uh, flaps, all right? So there is this concept called rolling shutter. So this acts similar to your shutter speed, uh, your shutter working from camera. Uh, is it understandable or? Yes, yes. Yes, Bandesh, I think. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Shobhi, oh, okay. you can There's take this question, question by Professor Om, Om Prakash Aldar, sir. Right. Right, sir. I don't have a DSLR, so can I continue with phone and get good pictures like still pics and other tricks shown here? Uh, for LEP, if uh, your phone supports pro mode or manual mode, you def definitely can try LEP. But for most of the phone photographers who want to try without the pro mode or the manual mode can still focus on perspectives. Perspectives and how you see the uh, frames in the photograph as explained by Raghav in the second session. Because if you have the perspective and if you have uh, other skills, your perspective will be counted as at a higher priority. Uh, there's one more question. 
uh, I think uh, uh, Raghavendra should address this one. Is he there, Raghavendra? Which question, sir? The last one. How we can get better pics of sunrise and sunset with smartphones? Mm, is Raghavan there? No, he's not there, I think. Okay, I'll tell the uh, answer to this question. So first of all, uh, if you have a pro mode, the exif you can like it is a pretty standard exif, but you can uh, go out of the way as well. So shoot at one by five hundred seconds for a uh, aperture of f by sixteen and ISO hundred. So this, from my experience, I've told that uh, this is the appropriate sh sh shutter uh, exif for a uh, sunrise or a sunset. But if you don't have a pro mode, uh, you still can control the exposure. You, if you tap on the sun and you move the exposure bar up and down, you can see that if you move it down, it will give better results. All, it is always noticed that a, an underexposed photograph gives better results than an overexposed photograph. I think that any other question? Yes, I think so. Okay. Okay, it is about think... six thirty. Right. So we if you have, have a, if yes, you have some yes, more doubts, right. if you have some more doubts, you can still ask it in tomorrow's session. Uh, tomorrow's doubt session four thirty to four fifty. And the final session of this workshop will be conducted by Vedant, and he'll be covering the basics, basic tools used in Photoshop. So if you have not yet installed Photoshop on your system, you can do it. We have shared you the links. That's it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Okay.